Last time on Ship Happens, we fitted the first section of beam shelf. Today, we need to see what is under this deck. So our primary objective, I think for like basically the summer, I don't think we're going to achieve the whole deck this year, but we're actually making good headway, aren't we? So our primary objective is to get the very, very pointy end of the deck done. So to do that, we need the beam shelf, we need the... the there's not three deck beams there, so it'd be nice to get them three deck beams in, and then we can start putting hardware in, like the barrel roller and the the windlass. Um, so then in the winter we've got something really, really good to tie to, haven't we? But what we need to do, so before we can do that, is the beam shelf. So basically, last time the beam shelf is in three pieces. So we've got like let's say one and a half meter there, then we've got a two meter to there ish, then we've got a three meter to there. Ideally, we want to get up to this, to this deck beam here. <clears throat> so for us to do that, then we need to put, we need to go down another three meters. So we need to go three meters from there, all the way down there, just so we can do the pointy end. But at least we'll have some nice sort of structural members then along the hole, won't we? So let's see what's going on inside, so we can actually change the beam shelf. So that's where our longest parts of the three-piece beam shelf gets us. So roughly, Gemma, where's the next piece go to go to? The next three metres will bring us to the back of here, um, to the window. Now, if you can see, the, the planks are actually missing in places at the top. So we know we've got a lot more plank repairs to do all the way down this side. We love doing that, don't we though? To be honest, I don't mind planks. Um, at first we were like, oh God, we're dead scary, but we actually can get through them quite quick, aren't we? Yeah. So I think that's today's job. Get so we've got to do first, haven't we? Yeah. Planks, then the next section of beam shelf, because there's no point putting the beam shelf there with rotten planks. Well, that came off easier than I thought. So I think we've got, if we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight today. The sail, one point, used to go around the window. Oh. Extreme window cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we lost our short plank that was there, but no problem, we can change that. So, what we need to really, like, not forget now is all of these frames are all the new ones that we put in, and they just went in over long. Now, if we now replace the planks and we put them in over long, we're going to get confused about the original height of the deck. So, it might be worth now cutting these frames back to the height they need to be so down the line when we're doing the deck we know the finished deck height do you ever think why did we buy this boat why did we buy a rod and boat it's fun though isn't it yeah it's good you know people always say you know people who who are a bit neggy nelly they go, oh, there's only two good days of owning a boat. Yeah, I heard all the time. Yeah. Do you know what? We love every day. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, we do have some really hard days where the weather's against you and stuff like this. But it's actually quite fun, yeah. even though we've never actually sailed the boat anywhere. No. Yeah, but we've sailed other boats. Yeah. And they're fun. They're in. 
But yeah, there's more than two good days. Tell them what's There's definitely there. three. <laughs> <laughs> We're still not well. No. I don't know why everyone in the comments is always going, your boat's so rotten. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Look, good bit there, good bit there, good bit, oh, I'm going, yeah, good bit there. So it's not that bad, is it, really? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you think she'd last another 80 years? <laughs> um, that's definitely a good bit to rest your ladder on, isn't it? Right, so we need to remove this deck beam here. So obviously the new beam shelf can come past it, but it's in the way of getting the planks out. So we're gonna use our resip saw. Is this camera on? Because I've just been through a way. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it? I'm not editing that out. Oh, it's on me. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Right, so all the bad planks are away now. Now we need to get a knife now, cut all the old calico out. Then we basically get like a wire brush on a drill, give it all a good scrape, give it, get all the rid of all the 80 years worth of crud. Then we're gonna make some new planks. Then we'll cut, bring them here, cut the angles. Once they're all done, then we can then glue them in. I'm getting good at this. So if you've got a HTML, <laughs> basically like 1943 or something like that, and you need some like work doing, give it a shout. I didn't film anything, but last week when Simon wasn't well and I was on the boat on my own, I had a visitor and I had uh, Scott come over. Now, Scott has got a HDML and he lives in New Zealand. Yeah. Because there is a couple of them over in what's New the, Zealand. What's the boat called? Cupra. Cupra, that's it. I always say <laughs> Capra, you know what I'm like. I think it is. Whatever. We should put some write it on there anyway. There you go. Um, and Scott has, has put many, many, many hours mm. into into making the boat nice and yeah. stuff. So there is not many people who own HTMLs. No. There's not many left in the world. Uh, but what, what I thought was really cool is while he was over here, he visited every HTML yes. in the UK. Which we've only visited, well, one. we visited one, which is the Medusa. <laughs> I think we, sh we should actually go and visit some of the others. What do you think? Yes. So there is uh, Medusa, as yeah. you all know, which if you've watched all of our videos, we've been yeah. to see the Medusa a few times. Uh, there's HDR Marcia, hmm. um, which she's over on the East Coast yeah. with uh, Stephen Patricia. Hello. Uh, and then there's a uh, very, very poorly HTML called HTML Shear Water. Which they're actually doing up, aren't they, at the moment? Uh, I don't know. No, okay. it's, it's been left for a good couple of years and basically it's just a hull. Um, wow. So that is it hmm. for HTMLs in the UK hmm. and obviously Sorinda. Um, so we're going to make the best one. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you can say ours will be better than the Medusa because no. like, you can't be better than the original, can you? No. <laughs> but at least hopefully we should give her another 80 years of life. Yeah. That's yeah. our aim, isn't I'll it? I'll make the best one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a competition, do you? No, 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 no. Right, time to get all the glue on, ready for the new planks. I'll do this. You do that. I'm going to film some birds or something instead. <laughs> no, there's no birds. I'm a bird. You'll be something. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want a job? Give us a new tube while I do some spreading. It's behind you. I've already got it prepared. Um, hold on, what's going on here? It was just half covering the window and we we're going to cut out tomorrow, weren't we? Yeah, but that, that, that doesn't half cover it. No, it's the wrong way. It's the wrong, look, look at the... Yeah, you... you, you... Oh, I wrote it on twice. So you need to glue that. Oh, it's no, plenty it's of glue. Plenty of glue, plenty of glue. Right, you've got plenty of glue now. Oh, no, it's all over on the outside of my blank. Down there, yeah. uh, I can't reach it, you're right in front of it. So I just don't want to take your job and you get upset. Can't take my job when it's teamwork. <laughs> so you just screw them all now? Yep. So ideal I could do being down there really. It'd make my life ten times easier if I can screw them from down there. On your ladder, son. It's gonna get me wellies on. Oh. Okay. And then I'll leave the impact with the, the end on it. Well done. Where's this from? <laughs> There we go. The um, seven more planks done. So what we need to do now is open this bit up and do the rest that need doing. But we've run out of plank material, so let's have a quick trip to the workshop. So while Simon's going to do some more destruction further down the boat, I'm going to sand up all the excess sealant of the planks that we put on yesterday. One boat, free to good owner. Self-assembly required. Hmm. Right, so we've moved quite a bit now. I've just done a quick measure up, three metres, because remember, this is our primary objective is to get this beam shelf in so we can do the front end. We're working down here, don't know why. But to get the three metres in, we need to actually take this other window out now, because these planks here are 
foobard, aren't they? So I need to get down there to cut these nails. But I'm not doing that from the top. So what I need to do now is go downstairs and cut them from downstairs. Or... I think three metres won't get us this far. Just land on there? Yeah, get it to here and then we can work backwards because, as you say, the aim is to get the front done. Yeah. So we get the beam shelf to here. Otherwise, we're then extending back into the walkway of the boat, which wasn't our primary objective. No. And I think if you've got a tape measure out now... I have done it. And by the time three metres lands there, but by the time... Yeah, by the time right. we square the ends up on the wood, yeah, okay, they're yeah, going to be yeah. shorter than three metres. OK, that's what we like. Simplifying the job. Yeah, and plus my boat's like got no windows now. It's just uh. got big holes. <laughs> Right, so we are now ready to measure up for the new frames. So you measure, I'll write. Perfect team. Yes. So number one, two, three. But, so number one, I can't measure. Can't measure number one. Because it's like there. There's not it's on there, there's there. Right, can we start? I'm, I'm, you want to start backwards? Yeah, let's count this properly. Yeah, because okay. we we'll make this mistake. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven again. No, no. So just measuring from there to there. So it's probably not the best one to show you. I'll show you one. So one, one, two, four. That's a big one. And then we're going to go there. And then one, two, four again. Oh. Um, one seventeen again. So here's our planks that we've just milled down in the workshop. So what we'll do is we'll put it through at our biggest measurements at one two four, and then when we get to the ones that are smaller, we'll come back and cut them to the width that we need them to be. There we go. They're all cut and ready. So. So glue and screw next. <laughs> well, I thought Gemma's down there doing some um, cleaning up of the planks so we can get it in paint. So I thought, well, while we're in paint, we may as well give the beam shelf a quick touch, shall we? Because obviously we've got three layers here. There's a slight discrepancy there between the two, but it's fine. It's all painted, it'll be beautiful and strong, won't it? No voids, no voids, that's good. Well, I've obviously I've not taken these out because we need to take one out, put a copper in it, and then so we don't really want to take all them out at once, do we? Because it'll just ping or do something daft. So but trying to fill my time. I know it's Gemma's job, isn't it? Yeah, sanding and painting, but But should be pleased to know there's loads of mess down there. Keep it busy, won't it? Right, so we've just got tooled up now to um, put the windows in. But then we forgot. So when the inner planks come out, obviously there's nothing for this plank to sit against. And obviously we need to still cut the for the glass out. So unfortunately we've got to make, put some more planks on the outside. Same for that one. One, two, four, one, two, five, so like that. Um.
I can see on the camera screen what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we do a crap job. Is this the first outside plank we've replaced? No, on the bow. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that time like a couple of weeks ago where we had the whole front off and Gemma's just forgotten about it. Yeah. Okay, so we need to put the window back in now. Now we've got our relevant planks, but what we're going to be doing is using the jigsaw. Don't want to put it across the glue, do we? So we haven't got any masking tape. <laughs> Why does it stick better to me gloves than it does anything else? Well, same on this one. Should we stand back and have a look at it? <laughs> you feel like you've done absolutely loads. <sighs> Sorry, the light is wrong here. But then actually when you look at the sheer size of the boat, We've only done to there. It's not even half. <laughs> we're about what? Is it even a quarter? No. <laughs> I think we're about two and a half years into an eight year project. Yeah, me too. Is that your wally fetish again? <laughs> <laughs> Look at what we're working in. It's just absolutely disgusting. Right. right, so obviously these, these planks are too long. Um, to basically figure out where to cut them, I'm just going to put the window in, draw around the back of the window, and then give it a chop. What do you reckon? Nothing can go wrong here. Okay. And before we put the pen down, I'll lose it. I'm going to mark this one. Say so it the auto booth. Identical sizes. Yep. Oh, it's a bit taller this one. I'm guessing because I can't see. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'll do. Because we do them all, can't we? So yeah, jigsaw away. Here we've got the frames that we put in years ago. We put the frames down, but we left them across the window. Don't really matter. And we always said that we're going to cut them one day. So what we're going to do is sort of, I don't know whether we'll cut all the way through, but we can, we can nick them with this, can't we? Okay, so maybe that blade can't handle the frames, which is going to be an issue, isn't it? Yeah, we can use the, the, the saber saw thing. I think I've just come across a screw. <laughs> yep. Put the window. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't know, dear. So, yeah. Is 
doesn't even need screws in now. <laughs> Should you have not have took your tape off first? No, because it's going to come off when I was painted on it. In that bar area, it's going to be absolutely mingling. It's going to be full of glue. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that one nearly got you in the face, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we need another window now. <laughs> Back up you go. Look how. No. I won't be my guy. <laughs> he just gained about two turns down in mud. Oh, it's all the way over there, though. Who put it there? Don't get mud on me, new I'm wood. Not. Just about to paint that. Yeah? Yeah. So, I'm not going to say it, but if you know what time it is, let me know in the comments. There we go. That was a lot of new planks. Inner planks. Inner planks. No one's ever going to see them. <laughs> Couple of outer planks. Yeah. Um. So next time. I think continuation on the beam shelf. Beam shelf. Yes. And then we start looking at the other beam shelves. Yeah, because really we need to start moving on to the side. But maybe we need to start thinking about getting some deck beams in now at the front. Okay. While we're talking about that, let's just have a quick look at something. Mm. I don't know what he's taking us to look at, so this is as exciting for me as it is for you. Where are we going? So, we need to make these deck beams, don't we? Obviously not this one just yet, but are they all the same? I'm guessing they are, all the same radius. Like the same camber? Yes. Sort of like Where do we like... take the reference from? This one is a massive big span, 80 years down the line, it's going to have sagged and set. So I'm just using this as a quick, a quick reference, not very good because it's got crap in the way, but... Yeah, you, you can, can see, see how big it is curve. in the middle. We're basically stuck up a bit there. Okay. And then it touches there. Yeah. So, can't use that one as a reference, can I? Can't trust it. No. This one is sagged, you can see it's flat. If you look right down the mall, the whole boat does curve up, or is it just sagged in the middle? I don't know. But I think the only place to take the reference from is, here, is in here. So the only real place to take the reference from is come in a second, do you remember this wall that like Gemma was doing? And I think, I think, she, I think I'm going to try and persuade her to paint it anyway. But is this here is probably the most structurally sound curve in the boat at the widest part of the boat. And then we're missing it in the middle where the door is. But if we could take a reference all the way across. Yeah, because you could get a. Yeah, we can we we can work out that bit there. So I think what, what we need to do is take our measurements off this anyway. And then we need to go into the workshop and then make up a form to then laminate new beams. Because if we make it this big, then we can laminate small beams on it, can't we? Would the original drawings show what the the radius is yes because we've got them i don't think it does it might do we'll have to sift through all them but i don't think it does and i've tried to do massive big radiuses like this before and by string but you end up all the way down the yard <laughs> i don't know but i think if we if we can basically get make make a big a big template of this and then in the workshop then we can make a big form does that make sense to make a dead beam. Okay, so it looks like we've got a lot of head scratches. But if you do. guys have got any good ideas on that as well, mm. do you know, like on 
Are, are they all the same? I'm guessing they are. It makes sense to be all the same, wouldn't it? Right, hold on. Let's have a look at a drawing. So there is a good camber to the deck surface, and you can see from this that the deck does veer up towards the front. So that was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> we haven't seen the drawing yet. <laughs> we maybe, we maybe don't I, know what we've just said. Maybe our voiceover was so intelligent. Don't think so, Simon. Wow. Yeah. But, away. but I think, no, I have, I have looked into this before. I don't know whether there's much. Well, the Simon and Gemma two seconds ago knew more than okay. what we do now. Right, so they've got all the answers. Simon and Gemma from the future. But if you guys, with all of you, because yeah. I've noticed that people in the comments have actually got, like, 2020 vision, and so they might actually know yeah. before we do. Yeah. Or after as, we do. Yeah. I don't know. Or as anyone... Can anyone point us in any direction as to anyone who's replaced big deck beams on a boat this size, that's this rotten, and how they did it? Yeah, but there's only 10 of these left. Yeah. So they're not all going to be the same on a... <laughs> anyway, so I think we take the reference off this bulkhead here, because this is our only... I'm pretty sure this is stayed, because it's all crisscross. We're not relying on a deck beam, which has sagged over the years. Not yeah. that it really matters, because we can make up our own artistic license. We could have it as a bloody pitch roof and say that was original. We could have a pyramid deck. We could have a pyramid deck, yeah. We could put like a pitched roof on it with slates. Right, less of our ramblings. Yeah. Um, yeah, come back next time to see what we get up to, because we don't really even... Well, I think know. it's going to be beam shelf and something else. Ooh, mystery. I don't know what the other, other thing is, but yeah, okay. Cool. Spot on, guys. Right. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, if you want to help us get to 80,000 subscribers, yeah. that's the thing. I've had a few people, well, I've had quite a few people comment mm. saying that they were subscribed, and then when they've looked, YouTube had unsubscribed them. So check you are subscribed. How dare YouTube. I know. They might not have been real people, though. <laughs> but that, they'd have to be real people to message me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, no. yeah, just check on that front and just thank you all so much for watching. Yeah. Thank you thank for you. your support. Cheers. See you next week. See you later. Bye, bye, bye. It's getting exciting, isn't it? Yeah, We're yeah. getting into like the big stuff. Mm. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done already as it really helps the channel out. See you all next week.